Mellow greetings, and welcome to my video review of the Dell & Clip Head Tracker. Head trackers allow you to look around the game you're playing using your head, which adds to your immersion and frees your hands to focus on driving, flying, or dogfighting, so you don't have to struggle with the camera while using more important controls. This is ideal for simulation games such as Euro or American Truck Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen, DCS World, and many others. I ordered mine on a Friday and received it seven days later on the following Friday, and for a single person company making and testing these to order, I think that's a fantastic service. It arrived well packaged and protected, and even the roughest delivery sensors, this could take some work to damage, so I'm very impressed here. I purchased the Gamer Edition, which comes with the Dellen Clip, a modified PS3i camera, a mounting bracket for the camera, and a selection of Velcro dots. There are other editions available, such as the Dell Clip on its own, if you already have a PS3i camera that you plan to modify yourself, or another head tracking camera, such as a Track IR. Also available is a wireless version called Fusion, which contains an integrated battery, so no need for a USB cable except for when charging it. This comes as a standalone device, or also in an addition combined with a PS3i camera. When you receive your Dell & Clip, you will need to set it up with your computer. Navigate to the Dell & Clip website to find the manual page, which has instructions and installation files. The link to here was also included in my dispatch email, and I'll put the links in the description below. The first thing you will want to do is set up your camera. So download the driver program indicated here, install it, restart your computer, and then plug in the camera's USB cable into your computer. It will install a driver, and then you have your camera working correctly. The next step is to set up the Dell & Clip itself. Simply apply a Velcro dot to the inside of the Dell & Clip, and one to the side of your headphones. I used a couple here to find a good sensor position. When you want to use the Dell & Clip, attach it to your headphones with the infrared LEDs facing towards the camera, plug it into a USB slot, and put on your headphones, and then you're good to go. Next. Start the CLI test program and you will see a dark image which is perfectly normal. Click the Devices option and verify that PS3i camera is selected. On the camera itself, check that it is rotated anti-clockwise to the red dot. This is also the direction of the red LED when it is connected to power and using test or tracking software. You should now see three white dots in the dark camera area which we will need to fine tune. So next, go to Options, then select Video Capture Filter, which will open a panel with some settings. Disable the Auto Check Mark next to the Gain and Exposure bars, and adjust these bars until the white dots are the only visible thing and that they are nicely round. You can now close the CLI test program. On the Dell & Clip website manual page, scroll down until you see a selection of three programs and press the Click Here button on your program of choice. I recommend the Open Track option, and that is what I will be using. On this new page, click the link to download the Open Track Dell & Clip Pack V2 zip file. Find the zip file on your computer, extract it, and run the Open Track installer. When it is installed, start Open Track. Next, click the button that says Profile and select Open Configuration Directory. Copy the default and Dell & Clip Open Track basic files from the zip into the folder that has just opened. Return to OpenTrack and click the Profile Manager button, which likely says Default, and click Dell & Track Basic so it is selected. Make sure that the CLI test program is not running and click Start in OpenTrack. You should see a dark screen with three white dots circled in red. Your head tracking is now working, so load up your game of choice and have fun. OpenTrack has many options to fine-tune the head tracking depending on which game you play. For example, when I play Euro or American Truck Simulator, I only want Pitch to look up and down, and Your to look left and right, so I disable all of the others. You can also adjust the mapping curves of how responsive the head tracker is for each axis in-game. The left to right numbers are the degrees that you move your head, and the up and down numbers are how many degrees that becomes in-game. As you can see, by default, this profile is set so that 5 degrees of head movement become 30 in-game, 10 degrees of head movement is 60 in-game, and so on. 
if you click on the curves, you can set them to what you prefer. So for example here, I've set 10 degrees of head movement, which equals 20 degrees in game, 20 degrees of head movement is 40 in game, and so on. This is something down to personal preference, so you will have to adjust these for each axis and get a feel for what is right for you. If you play multiple games where you want to enable or disable different axes, I'd recommend setting up a different profile for each game. Mellow greetings! So, now I'm live in uh, Euro Truck Simulator and I'm going to drive around a bit with the Dellen uh, clip equipped. And uh, I need to try not to crash, which is actually very important, and in my notes and my script. So I will try to avoid doing that uh, in the hopes that I don't mess this up massively. So, let's just go. So I've already lined up a job and I'm, I'm fully in my sort of streaming setup. So everything's how I would normally play the game. So we're going to go see how... It actually performs like this. So I've got my stream deck down here. Let's have a look around. So we're looking around. It's very smooth. Nice. Look in the left mirror there. Look over to the right mirror. I've still got my little right mirror up on the uh, top right of the screen there just because I need to get used to this first. So that's good. And we can look up a bit and also down a bit. Look around the uh, the cab. Can look in the back of the cab, or I don't have anything there. You can also look behind the truck as well. A clip itself is is fantastic. It's incredibly light. I barely even realise it's there. Well, I don't even realise it's there to be honest. This is nice. Sorry, I'm just looking around a lot. It's actually quite exciting to do this now. Yeah, we're going to be. We should probably start driving, I suppose, and you know, do something. I hope I can drive well and not crash badly. So we're going to go see how it goes. I also have. A button on my joystick that I set up to center the display so like if I get into a comfortable position like let's say here looking forward into the middle of my screen I can hit this button it centers this like if, if I wanted to drive while looking this direction I can hit the center button and that would be forward for me and if I look that way that wouldn't be so we're gonna we're gonna center up properly I think for how I prefer to drive hit the center button everything's aligned now I can look properly left and properly right and that's good. So, let's oh, move my pedal slightly and let's get uh, driving, shall we? Is driving. that the engine? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go. All right. This is quite nice. I just need to get used to driving again. Let's indicate. Turn let's left. look that way. Look that way. I didn't actually need to look right, but, uh, you know, that's instinct. It's so much better for um, being able to look left and right when I'm turning than, um, than it previously is. You can look around at the scenery nicely, like that house and there's stuff over there. This is very nice. But this is this is so good for just being able to look around at scenery and this is nice for this truck especially because my default facing forward view is here and I can't see the left mirror because of that but if I look just slightly I can see the left mirror this is this is really really good uh oh drop gears a bit I think. like it's, it's so nice to just glance over to that mirror like in real driving it's such a game changer, like genuinely it is, because before I had to use the D-pad on my wheel here to uh, flip my view left and right, you know, left and right. <laughs> Sorry, I say left and right and then look right then left, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, I, can, I can look at signs as they pass as well, office spaces available, and look, look at the sign so much better, it's like that sign, Kingman. It's it's fun. It's it's exciting. All right, we can we can do this. We're about to turn right, but there's a traffic light, so we've got to stop. So let's stop there. Let's creep forward ever so slightly in first gear, please. All right, so we're going to turn right. It's a traffic light, but still, I could I if that truck wasn't there, I could look to see if there's anything coming. Of course, pretty sure actually in America you can turn right on a. Uh, on a red light, can't you? That's that's a real thing, isn't it? I swear I remember it. See, uh, whatever, it's green now, so who cares? It's like I can glance over there to make sure nothing's coming, you know, this way. Assuming something might. Just in case. 
it's fun. Like, I don't know, I kind of... I'm, I'm hoping my enjoyment of this, this head tracking is shown through on the video, to be honest. That's kind of what I wanted to, to really show in a, in a live section. Just because it's really fun and... But yeah, like, it's, it's real fun and, and it is such a nice change to just be able to look around. Because before, when I was gaming, I had to hit, like, left or right on my D-pad, like I said. To look left or right, particularly at... Um, you know, intersections, and that was so, so annoying because I had to look left and right. If I had to get my gear in position, I had to, you know, make sure the ways were coming. I had to focus on, on driving forward, making sure I turn okay, make sure there's nothing else coming. I need to get in. There's nothing coming. Ooh. And now, you know, I can just focus on purely driving. So I don't have to worry about camera control at all because I can just look. And it, it's super good. I can just look over there for a, a power co building, which is great, and then quickly snap back to the road before I uh, crash into something. And I just look at signs like, drink, drive, lose. It's like, yeah, that's, that's a good sign. I can read this sign as well. And then go back to the road. Instead of messing my camera, this is genuinely brilliant, and uh, I'm very excited to play more. So, you know what? I think... I've rambled on about the same points over and over <laughs> in this video, in this well, this little segment. So I think I'll um, I'll cut the gameplay here, and yeah, so fantastic, uh, definitely, definitely a great product. Okay, so I'm showing a bit of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator now. Um, I don't have my HOTA set up here, um, so I'm not going to actually do any flying myself. I just loaded up the tutorial with uh, the instructor flying me around just because I can look around then and not have to worry about flying or anything I'm trying to figure out keyboard and mouse controls because I don't have a clue I've got, I've got my HOTUS somewhere else but anyway, well, let's hit the button we're already looking around I've got to say, you chose a great day to go flying this session, we'll get started with some basic controls sound good? first things first, really nice. let's get familiar with your surroundings yeah, I've centered my view again. Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. We can look behind us. I'm not going to do the camera controls tutorial for this because uh, I just want us to fly while I look around. I can look around behind us from both angles. Look up to the sky a bit. Look down to the ground. This is a game where I need to change my settings in open uh, track though, so I have. Uh, forward and backward and left and right movement along with the yaw and pitch though but I haven't done that at the moment because um, I'm not a professional but you know it's it's real nice just being able to turn my head slightly and look at all the windows this will be excellent when I'm flying and even in um, combat games for example, you know, like, like I've mentioned earlier, like this is going to be great for like DCS World or uh, Space Sims, like uh, like Elite Dangerous, you know, and uh, being able to fly around and track my target accurately with okay, my thanks, instructor. Let's ignore that for now, and to accurately, um, you know, look around to track a target while moving and not having to fiddle around with cameras with my hands and just being able to look where an enemy is it will be fantastic so yeah i'm going to stop this gameplay now and i will do my final thoughts and my outro so uh, i'll catch you in a moment so as i said during the gameplay the Dellen clip is incredibly light um it doesn't really feel like it's there at all which i was pleasantly surprised with um, I was thinking that I might have to attach something to this other ear cup here to balance it out, but um, no, it's it's just completely unnoticeable as a weight, which is fantastic. Uh, I might swap out the Velcro dots that attach it to uh, this side with um, some command strip, just because Velcro is a bit uh, light and it has a slight bit of wobble due to being Velcro, so command strips will definitely hold it a little more stable. Uh, with the PS3i camera, uh, the bezel on my monitor is quite small, so the front part of the stand does intrude onto my screen a little bit. So what I'll probably do is take the stand off and set the camera in place on top of the monitor with a couple of the Velcro buttons, which, uh, which will hold it nice and stable and be able to angle it there without anything intruding onto my screen, which, which is good.
I've also seen that um, there is the option to put the camera behind you, if you like, and I've got space behind me on my cupboards there. Um, so you could put the PS3i camera there, turn the clip around to the LED uh, facing camera, and then just swap an open track um, to invert pitch. So you're looking up and down because it would be the opposite way. And then you could have it behind you. For example, if you don't have a monitor that's large enough to hold the camera on top, and that's that's a pretty great idea too, and I'd be tempted to try that out myself. But at the moment, I, th I think the camera's quite happy up on the monitor for myself. So, all in all, I think it's I think it's a great product. And uh, and, and before I bought this, like I mentioned, I tried head tracking with the webcam, and that just didn't really work. Uh, so I started looking into the infrared hacking, head tracking software, and I wasn't fully convinced about it to be honest. But um, because of the kind of poor experience with the webcam, but I decided to go for the Dellen clip, and I, th I think it's great. Like, um, it's, it's a very affordable option, um, and it's absolutely worth the investment. Uh, so, if you're at all interested in head tracking, then uh, just buy it. Uh, you'll love it. I love it myself. I think it's brilliant. So, fantastic. And thank you for watching my review.